everybody welcome to the Waldock way I'm Jessica and today's video is going to be another haul if you guys love hauls make sure you're subscribed and click that bell notification icon because we have a summer of hauls coming to you and I don't think I have mentioned yet to this point if you have missed it there is a giveaway happening on my Instagram each week that coordinates with the haul so make sure you hop over there as well Today's haul is going to be a Scholastic haul. Now I try really, really hard to wait until Scholastic does what they call like a book box bundle or some kind of thing. And you can get them by grade level and they're very, very affordable. So I believe this was 54th grade books for $50, which makes each of the books a dollar a piece. But the like trick to it is you have no clue what books you're going to get. So some of these books are going to be duplicates to things we already own or others, maybe books that maybe you just don't like, or you don't want your kids reading, but I love purchasing them because it's such a great deal for the amount of books that you're getting and anything that we either already own or that maybe I don't necessarily think Emily is ready for content wise or just to read it all. I will either donate to our library or give to another homeschool friend. So I'm just going to share with you guys what we got in our fourth grade box. I did a um, haul last year for our third grade box. If you have a third grader and you want to see what kind of books that you might get in your third grade box, you can see that right here. Okay, the first book is The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. The Night of the Living Worms. The Homework Machine, The Sideways Stories from a Wayside School, Dear Mr. Henshaw, Esperanza Rising, Fourth Grade Rats, Whatever After a Beauty Queen, Captain Underpants and the Wrath of the Wicked Wedgie Woman. Hell, that was a tongue twister. Mia Mayhem is a superhero. Now, we actually own this entire series, and it is amazing, phenomenal, whatever word you want to use. We love it. What I will say that I really like about these boxes is that normally there's only maybe one or two books per series in them. And when we get them, we always find a new series that we love almost always. Um, Danger, Action, Trouble, Adventure, the data set, Don't Disturb the Dinosaurs. Disaster Strikes, Blizzard Night. Class President, Judy Moody was in a mood, Stink and the Hamlet Chase, I'm sorry, Hamlet and Cheese, you guys reading backwards on a camera screen is not always easy, <laughs> um, Goosebumps Most Wanted, Bad Kitty versus Uncle Murray. The Bridge to Terabithia. Upside Down Magic showing off. Fourth Grade Fuss. Whatever After, Dream On. The Mouse and the Motorcycle. Stuart Little. Judy Moody and the Not So Bummer Summer. The Alien Next Door.
I survived the sinking of the Titanic. You guys, I just bought like all of these. You just saw them in a haul. I really probably should have opened this box before I went to FPEA because then maybe I would have known that this one was in here. And it was here before we left. I just didn't open it. Oh well, we'll probably do a giveaway. Um, the Great Shark Escape Magic School Bus. Flat Stanley's Worldwide Adventures, The Amazing Mexican Secret. This will go really good with traveling the world. The Puppy Palace Scout. This is the one Emily's eye and she's already ready to take that out of my hands. The Best Christmas Pageant Ever. We read this every, 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 every Christmas and love it. The Wayside School is Falling Down. We'll Never Forget You, Roberto Clementine. The, uh, let's see, not the, From the Mixed Up Files of Miss Basil E. Frankwaller. Sarah Plain and Tall. How to Steal a Dog. Miss Daisy is Crazy. Bad Pets. The Boxcar Children, the Shackleton Sabotage. Dolphin Island, Lost in the Storm. The Chocolate Touch. Benicula. The Tiger Rising. Frindle. We are almost to the bottom, you guys. Molly's Pilgrim. Is it funny that I think this is the one I am probably the most excited about because I um, have wanted it. We always check it out from the library every year, but sometimes we can't get it because, well, holiday books around the holidays are always difficult. Um, and I don't know why I've just never bought it. We love it. We read it every year. So I'm super excited that that was in there. Uh, let's see. STEM Trail, Bi STEM Trail Bios Computer Engineering. When the Beat Was Born, DJ Cool Herc and the Creation of Hip Hop. Who would win? Lion versus Tigers. This is another series that we absolutely love. And I actually think that there was one of these in her third grade box. And that's why when, um, when we found them and I ended up buying all of them from Scholastics because we love them so much. Two Bobbies, A True Story of Hurricane Katrina, Friendship and Survival. And now that I just saw that, let's see, I probably don't have it out anymore, but we have the I Survived Hurricane Katrina book, so that would be a fun addition to it. And then we have the last one, the most famous duel in American history, Aaron and Alexander. All right, so that is it for Scholastics. Now, I do want to say something because I always get these questions. If you are not signed up as a teacher and you want to be signed up as a teacher because you are entitled to be signed up as a teacher with Scholastic as a homeschooler, normally you just have to call them and they will approve, like you can do the application and they'll approve it as soon as you call and explain to them that you're a homeschooler and then you can access the teacher site, which I am pretty sure is the site I had to be on to get the 50 bucks for $50 deal. If they no longer have that deal, I would just wait because it comes back. And it's, like I said, I mean, maybe you don't want to get the box set. I always like getting the box set because I know a couple of things. I know the content is more than likely um, not going to be too advanced because it's fourth grade books. I know that um, they're going to be mostly on level for reading levels and not 
Not that I care if she's reading on level or at that level. I just like knowing that I have a good selection of books on the shelf that she can pick up and read. Um, so let's just say we don't get to the library that week or things are a little bit crazy or whatever the circumstances are. I like knowing that for a dollar a piece, I have about 40 to 50 books that just kind of live on our shelf for the homeschool year that she can pull from that are not too old or too young in content and not too advanced or too easy um, in like the level of reading. Again, if she's reading, I don't care what she's reading, but I just like having all of these on here. Plus, I feel like it's a very good variety of genres. There were some classics, there were some funny ones, there was, you know, some just a little bit of everything. So it may help us also find new book series that we love. Um, which it has helped us do in the past. So that is one of the reasons why I like getting this. And then worst case scenario, if we have duplicates, we either give them away to one of you guys or a friend or the library um, or a teacher friend to add to her classroom. So that is why the book boxes are my favorite because they really are some of the best deals that you can get with Scholastics.